Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is evening prayer for Saturday, February the 4th. It's the fourth week after the Epiphany and week four in the Psalm Cycle. Thanks for joining me. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, you are my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Alleluia. Psalm 27, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, you are my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? You are the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an army should encamp against me, I shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this I will be confident. One thing that I have desired of you, one thing that I seek, that I may dwell in your house all the days of my life, to behold your beauty and to inquire in your temple. For in the time of trouble you will hide me in your pavilion, in the secret of your tabernacle, and you will set me high upon a rock, and my head shall be lifted above my enemies who surround me. And I offer sacrifices of joy in your tabernacle. I sing, yes, I sing praises to you. Hear me when I cry aloud to you. Have mercy on me and answer me. When you said, Seek my face, my heart said to you, Your face I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not put me away in anger. You have been my help. Do not leave me, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, you will take me up. Teach me your path, my beloved, and lead me in a plain path. Do not deliver me to my enemies. For false witnesses have risen against me, and they breathe out cruelty. I would have fainted unless I had believed I would see your goodness in the land of the living. I wait on you. If I am courageous, you will strengthen my heart. As for me, I wait on you. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, you are my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Alleluia. Paul's letter to the Galatians, chapter 5, beginning at verse 25. If we live by the Spirit, let us also be guided by the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, competing against one another, envying one another. My brothers and sisters, if anyone is detected in a transgression, you who have received the Spirit should restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness. Take care that you yourselves are not tempted. Bear one another's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. For if those who are nothing think they are something, they deceive themselves. All must test their own work. Then that work, rather than their neighbor's work, will become a cause for pride, for all must carry their own loads. Those who are taught the word must share in all good things with their teacher. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked, for you reap whatever you sow. If you sow to your own flesh, you will reap corruption from the flesh. But if you sow to the Spirit, you will reap eternal life from the Spirit. So let us not grow weary in doing what is right, for we will reap at harvest time if we do not give up. So then, whatever, whenever we have an opportunity, let us work for the good of all, and especially for those of the family of faith. Here ends the lesson. Alleluia, you are my shepherd. I shall not want. Alleluia. Psalm 23, 
and please recite it with me. Alleluia, you are my shepherd, I shall not want. You make me to lie down in green pastures, and you lead me beside the still waters. You restore my soul, and you lead me in the paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and staff comfort me. You have prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in your house forever. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. You are my shepherd. I shall not want. Alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 9, beginning at verse 14. When they came to the disciples, they saw a great crowd around them, and some scribes arguing with them. When the whole crowd saw Jesus, they were immediately overcome with awe, and they ran forward to greet him. He asked them, What are you arguing about with them? Someone from the crowd answered, Teacher, I brought you my son. He has a spirit that makes him unable to speak, and whenever it seizes him, it dashes him down, and he foams and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid. And I asked your disciples to cast it out, but they could not do so. And he answered them, You faithless generation, how much longer must I be with you? How much longer must I put up with you? Bring him to me. And they brought the boy to him. When the spirit saw him, immediately it convulsed the boy, and he fell on the ground and rolled about, foaming at the mouth. Jesus asked the father, How long has this been happening to him? And he said, From childhood. It has often cast him into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you are able to do anything, help us, have compassion on us. Jesus said to him, If you are able, all things can be done for the one who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out, I believe, help my unbelief. And when Jesus saw that a crowd came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, You spirit that keeps this boy from speaking and hearing, I command you come out of him and never enter him again. And after crying out and convulsing him terribly, it came out and the boy was like a corpse. So most of them said he is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he was able to stand. And when he had entered the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could we not cast it out? And he said to them, This kind can come out only through prayer. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wing. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. 
where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discard, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console. To be understood as to understand. To be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.